It's the year 2010. Germany's Lena Meyer Landrut has won the European Eurovision Song Contest. There's been a devastating explosion on the deep water horizon drilling rig in the Gulf of Mexico. Christiane Wolf was elected German president. 21 people died at the Love Parade disaster in Duisburg. Polizisten und Steuerfahnder durchsuchten Räume der Deutschen Bank in Frankfurt. An unprecedented raid took place. Police officers searching Deutsche Bank would have once seemed unthinkable. Josef Ackermann, seen here with his head of communications, had been at the helm of Deutsche Bank for eight years and had turned it into a bigger player on Wall Street. But at what cost? The accusations against him were staggering. Under the leadership of Mr. Ackermann, the formerly reputable Deutsche Bank has turned into a criminal gambling den. During his time and afterwards, Deutsche Bank has been involved in practically every mess in the banking industry worldwide. One such mess took place in Newport, Rhode Island, a haven for sailing aficionados. In August 2010, a dream wedding took place at the exclusive Castle Hill Inn. Friends from all over the world joined the couple on the U.S. Atlantic coast. A wedding magazine captured the moment Tim Wiswell, Deutsche Bank's head Moscow stock trader, married Russian art historian Natalia Makorsi. The pair later became tangled in a nightmare for Deutsche Bank. Hotel Adlon, November 2010. Vladimir Putin, Russian Prime Minister at the time, was visiting Berlin. He was being courted by the creme de la creme of German business. Everyone wanted to do business with Putin's Russia. Josef Ackermann had outlined an ambitious vision for Russia's integration into Europe. Little did anyone know back then that the idea would be a short-term one. Russland Teil dieses Währungsraumes wird, ist schon aus ureigenem europäischen Interesse, wenn man sieht, was in Asien sich entwickelt. Ich erinnere mich an ein Panel mit dem Chef. I remember I was on a panel in Berlin with the heads of Volkswagen and Siemens and Putin. In Berlin, und da waren wir alle auch. And we were all extremely eager to tap into Russia's market potential. Das Marktpotenzial in Russland zu erschließen. Damals war, war man at that time, I think we were firmly of the opinion that we had to win Russia as a partner and see it as part of Europe. When Josef Ackermann gave us this interview in October 2021, Putin's war in Ukraine had yet to reach current levels of intensity. Otherwise, he would likely have been more reserved about his friendly relations with Putin. We had a very good relationship. He also appreciated advice, I think like many others.